Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. I got a couple friends up here with me. Oh, you're per precisely on time, Troy. Precisely on time. Wow. Other than these two ladies, we're the first one in. So I was going to do a uh, dinner, Sunday dinner with mom tonight, but Sunday dinner with mom is probably going to be mac and cheese, and I've already done a video on mac and cheese. But I know my U.S. friends were asking about butter tarts. That's right. Yeah. Well, butter tarts are a Canadian delicacy. <laughs> so can we say we're doing dessert with mom? Yep. Because I don't know what I'm having for dessert supper tonight my oldest son and i were at lark yesterday we didn't get home till midnight last night and i've had a hard time getting moving this morning so i was like i might be making something easy my son and his girlfriend they don't usually eat till late so i might just make something easy for me but you're doing so like on my, michael ann you're doing like i do tired with dessert life is short that's yeah. right <laughs> Well, usually when I, uh, I buy butter tart or make butter charts, I buy the pack where you can get like 36, or th no, 30 tart shells in a, a package. Well, I did that the other day. They, I think they lasted maybe two days. <laughs> Doesn't last long. But we have, a, we have a sweet tooth. So I didn't go that ex uh, extravagant this time. I... Uh, just picked up a 12 pack so the recipe calls for a 12 so or you can make your own um tart shells if you're so inclined i never seen a pastry turn out for me so so i bought just a 12 pack tender flake or whatever brand you have you gotta love tender flake oh god just the regular size tarts i was double checking here to make sure i didn't grab the mini or dirt size. Is that mini? It's just too much of a tease. You need a regular, just have a, you know, expensive okay. the bean tart in. I don't think I've ever made butter tarts in the mini size. That's so good. It's, it's a tease. There's no point. I've made little quiches in them, in the minis, and I've made, um, sometimes I might make my sweet tarts because they're a little strong. Some, some people, so I'll do them in the, uh, Many ones. Well, hello and goodbye, Daryl. <laughs> so I will turn this down so you guys can see what I'm doing. And then once I get them put in the oven, then we can chat. I've already got my oven preheated to 350, so it's warm enough. You are all shared out. Thank you. You're more than welcome. I was going to do that, but I was running out of time. So I figure whoever shows up, shows up. So Hold on, there we go. <laughs> so I'm going to turn this down here so you can see what I'm doing. I get my boom and my gut shot here, sorry. I get to see Bear. Don't get to see Mama. Don't get to see Bear. Mama Bear at her best right now. Oh, yeah. Did you see what Troy said? No, I'm eating. If you reheat a tart, does that make it retarded? Retarded. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're funny. Well, I had, when I made them the other day, I had one. Once it had cooled down enough that it wouldn't burn my mouth, I had one that was warm. I'll say it was pretty good, really warm, but I like them cool. <laughs> I ain't picky, I'll eat them any which way. Well, there's many ways you can have butter tarts. Some people like raisins, some people like currants, some people don't like anything in them. Some people put walnuts or pecans in them. I've heard people put a little bit of coconut in them. I used to make ones with currants for my dad because that was his favorite. But uh, around here, we just we have raisins. Now you can Fine, mix. Mommy. No, go ahead. So you can mix the ingredients together and put the raisins in there. I sometimes put the raisins in here. That way I know there's a kind of an even distribution of raisins. Mm -hmm. 
Sorry, who you were saying? My mom's favorite is coconut. Because once you open the bag of coconut, it kind of goes stale fast. Yep. So I already knew when my mom would make a dessert with coconut, we'd have butter parts not soon after. So let me ask you something. Do you have to put raisins in them? No. No. No, you can buy them and you can make them just plain without anything in them. Just the, the pot, pot, like the heart filling. Okay. Yeah. As I said, it's, it's up to the individual whether they want to put raisins or currants or coconut or walnuts or pecans. Just Strongly advise not to put chocolate chips. This okay. is one of the few desserts that you don't put chocolate yeah. chips. No, you, don't want, you don't want to really put anything in there that's going to melt. Yeah. So if you try the recipe, folks, and you try something different, let me know in the comments what you tried. So I'm just putting some of the uh, raisins right in the, in the tart shell so that I don't have like a tart shell as well full of raisins and the one that's got like two. Mm -hmm. But you can mix them directly in with the other ingredients too. And if you're like my grandma, you can soak your your, your raisins with a little bit of rum. Just a you little. can do that too. Mm. If you want. That was actually my favorite, one of my favorite ice creams in a long time, rum and raisins. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My, uh, so I got that mixed up. I got that. Steve's grandmother used to make a real good raisin gravy. Oh, oh my God, that's something good. Mm -hmm. I put that on anything. I love me. So, as I got a bowl, I'm going to put in one whole cup of brown sugar. Push the bowl towards my head. There you go. <laughs> and it has one teaspoon of artificial or one teaspoon of vanilla. They bought artificial. They bought this king size thing. <laughs> I do. I would prefer pure. But so you all need to make that. a trip to Mexico and get the big bottles. <laughs> vanilla beans and something in vanilla uh, vodka. Yeah, but not vodka like me does. <laughs> That's how I do my vanilla. I don't like this bottle because it drips too. I tried to pour that, so. So I got one cup mm -hmm. of brown sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla. We got one tablespoon of butter that has been melted and cooled. <sighs> Delicious. You said you had that butter. One second. A dessert without butter is not dessert to me. Well, the funny thing was, when I made them the other day, and I was just getting ready to, had them all, had it all mixed up, just getting ready to put it in the tart shells, and I looked over in my, because I tripled the recipe, two, one and a half, two and a half the recipe, so I could do the two and a half dozen. I look over my little measuring cup is the butter is like that's kind of the main ingredient in butter tarts, the most important. Yeah. So one cup of sugar. Have you ever tried substituting ghee instead of butter? Um, not yet, but if I was desperate I could do that because I do have ghee in the uh, refrigerator. And here I have yet to try it, but I always have butter, though, that's the thing. The ghee tarts instead of butter. <laughs> so one cup of brown sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla, one tablespoon of butter, two eggs, I love the people in the chat that I missed. Hey, very nice. Yes, I can dessert before dinner. And it's a, it's a dash of salt, so looks good. And then we're just going to mix it up. So it's all well blended. It's where I can smell it right now. <laughs> I 
Trevor says you can smell the vanilla. <laughs> I need to know where it is. It's over there. Actually, I smell the brown butter. The brown, the brown sugar and the butter. I want to lick the bowl. <laughs> After it's done. After it's it's done. It. <laughs> I'll give you the spatula after. Mm, yum. Hello, Ron Darrell. Hello. And fairy dust. How's the birthday boy? Recovering? Yes, how are those ribs today? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to bring my tart shells back. And I put a piece of parchment underneath on the cookie sheet because I have a tendency to drip onto the cookie sheet, then it's a nice sticky mess to clean up afterwards. Mm -hmm. So everything's mixed up in there. Now, Michael M., the tarts shells, did you leave them in the the metal metal cups? Yeah, yeah they're in the they're in the, the tin foil uh, cups. Yeah, just in people ask. Yeah. So then I, I used to have a little ladle, but I don't know what happened to it. So I'm just going to take my little quarter cup, fill them up to about two thirds. Mm -hmm. It's just going to be a little extra because we've got raisins in there already. They're about a quarter of an inch from the, below the top. I have to say, I really enjoy these Sundays when we cook together and watch what Michael Ann's making because it gives us all like something different to learn how to make. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's fun, but uh, I said my son's not coming tonight and I was going to do mac and cheese, but I've already done a video on mac and cheese. So. Mac and yes, I'm still making mac and cheese. No, nope, not at oh. all. I was supposed to be mad disappointed. <laughs> well, <laughs> a suggestion for the people who are going to try to make this. If you have one of those, I don't know if you have the what I have, when you make crepes or pancakes, the easy dispenser, go psh. Yeah. You could put that and just dispense it. It's even easier. Like a little pour? Yeah. You have it. It's not essential, but... You avoid the spillage. Yeah. I don't know too bad. As I'm scooping one, I'm kind of holding it over the next one. So yeah. if it's dripping, it's going in there. Oops, someone's got a little much. Or even a gravy bowl. And Michael Ann, how many, the mix that you made, how much, with the mix, how many of those butter tarts can you make with what you just did? The, the mix, a dozen. Okay. I'm like, I just time I bought. 12 shells the last time I brought 30 so then I I just did a like two and a half okay mm -hmm. okay the last one I'm going to have to use my this little spatula scoop everything yummy get all the goodies off the bottom they already look delicious just like that I know <laughs> You just smell the vanilla and the brown sugar. And... I swear I can. Hi, Robert Rockwell. Hi, Robert. Ugh, a little bit more. Come on. A little bit more. Fill that one a little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. Oh, it's picture perfect. Now, there's a couple that are really full, and there's a couple that are a little bit less so. The really full one is the taste tester. Yeah, that one to be mine. <laughs> this one and this one are a little full, so. I'm going to put them in the oven. Try not to spill them. So, Crystal, how long of a drive from your house to Michael Ann's? Yeah. You could probably get there by the time she pulls it out of the oven. Without traffic, probably a good five, ten minutes <laughs> with traffic, half hour, 45, you know. I'm trying, you never know. 
we have to have that 14 day plan. You know that, right? Yeah, I know. I We're in the oven for 20 minutes and then need to cool for a little, little bit. So, Michael Ann, are you going to put all of this in the description down below after you're done with your live? Well, if people have already peeked at the description, the recipe is already in there. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm just going to pick you guys up for a second. Ah, sorry. No fair. Is that it. Chinese food or is it sushi? Sorry? Chinese. Oh, yum. <laughs> so V's having supper and then she's going to have dessert. <laughs> I'm having lupper because I didn't have lunch and I didn't have supper. So I'm like, I'm just amazing. eating in the middle. <laughs> but it's more like stir frying rice. So there's not even any leftovers in the fridge that I can have for dinner either. So I guess I'm making mac and cheese. I was supposed to cook the female, the female bacon, and I was like, oh, I don't want to wait. I'm too hungry right now. So we can chat for 20 minutes. They probably want to, want to eat till later, so. I will sleep last night at Rome Daryl Adventures. You guys were out. I made a few comments in there, but I was too tired to, <laughs> to come up. Sorry, Literally. I was telling the hubby I'm going to make dinner around 5 o'clock. We're having chicken fajitas. Ooh. Ooh, I would love to make those too. Didn't yum, yum. It looks like it's going to rain here. It's cloud enough here. We got dark skies out to the west. It's raining here. Ron Daryl's in there. Robert Rothwell. Ooh, banana pudding. Yum. Beer dust. Mm -hmm. Feeling better. That's good to hear. Got past the third day. Well, Kenny was making, was the last thing he was making them laugh so hard? Yes, Kenny was up on Ron's live last night. And the more Kenny laughed, the more Ron laughed. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, because I told Kenny. I told him to stop. That was elder abuse. <laughs> and the more Ron laughed, the more Kenny laughed. <laughs> Although I have to say, you were brought up Michael Lamb last night. Oh, no. He said he's never seen you get so tickled before. <laughs> and just laugh, laugh, laugh. <laughs> Happy wake up at 3.30 a.m. to get wife to the airport. I'm going to go take a nap. Hello, Danny. Hey, Danny. Hi, Mr. Nidwell. And Danny. I woke up at 7.30 yesterday morning. I had my alarm set for 8. Didn't get back to sleep. And then my son picked me up at quarter to 9. And we got on site just after 10. Wow. And then we, well, then everything is stored in a... Well, they call it a sea can, but it's like a, sh a cargo, shipping cargo container. So then we have to haul stuff out of there and set up inside, like all the costuming and all that stuff. So that takes a good hour or so. But we were a little late starting, so they ran a little late last night. And then by the time we got everything packed up, it was after 10. Oh. And it's an hour's drive back home, but we hadn't eaten since around supper time and I wasn't really impressed with the bur leftover burgers that we had so it was like hello bunch of devil. Them, hey she double bunch of them are gonna go up, meet up and it's like well, where are they going well, they want to go to whatever restaurant we're going to it's like but they're a little slow there and that's like we an hour's drive you don't want to hang around for you know, waiting for an hour for food or whatever and then so yeah, exactly. we just stopped Oh, I forget what road it was. What are the McDonald's in London? <laughs> you know what I like about the Canadian versus the U.S.? 
your guys's rest stops are like gas stations, food, and rest areas. Yeah. Our rest areas are just plain. There's your bathroom, the vending machines. Have a good day. <laughs> Stretch your legs, and that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Unless you go to like, so on your way to like um, Chicago, for instance. If you go out Chica towards Chicago, and you go. If you were headed towards yeah. like the toll roads and stuff like that, they have like the big overpass where you get gas on one side, then you walk in and it's the uh -huh. overpass over the top and the restaurants are all connected to the other side. But there's nothing like that around Michigan at all. Although when I was driving out west and going up through Michigan to upper Michigan, uh -huh. I did appreciate those rest stops. <laughs> mm -hmm. because oh, you yeah, have for sure. Because you go from here to London, and there is unless you get off the highway, there is nowhere in that hour to step to just pull off into a little thing to go to the bathroom. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And you know, too, like I guess it's true what they say. Okay, if you're from Michigan, you take a lot of things for granted. Like for me, you know, I didn't realize how much I appreciated living when I lived in town, closest to the border. I could get out and walk every day and see the beautiful lake and the boats and everything else. Now that I live in the suburb of Port Huron, you you don't get the advantage of seeing those beautiful things all the time. Same thing with like our rest areas. You head north on 75 towards Mackinac. There's a couple of rest areas up there that you can pull off and do a scenic overlook and you can see the valleys and some of the hills and the prairie and you know it's very very pretty but you just sometimes take advantage of those things you know if you're so used to it all the time per se i think one we one we stopped at actually has a couple picnic tables or something outside too yeah but that's like unless you get the other side of london from here then you get the on route which will have like timmy's and they'll have a and w or oh that to me starbucks a and w burger king new york fries those kind of things um they usually and have a, go ahead. There's, a, there's like a little store in there they'll have you know water and some like, sandwiches and stuff yeah. and they also have usually a little trail for a dog to walk like a mini dog yeah. trail dog park yeah Hello, Paul Vines. They're about every 32 to 64 kilometers or so. so. It depends, yeah. Yep. And then there's one around London, and the next one's around Cambridge. And, then... and the new thing that happened at the end of the summer, due to the craziness of the world, they have the one anyways going towards London from my house. They have an M&M &M freezer, so you can grab supper. By the time you put it in the oven and you're good. So I was pretty impressed with that. Now. Huh. Mm -hmm. I miss traveling. <laughs> yeah. Stopping. Hello, Lance. Hi, Lance. Well, before we change sites for LARP, um, we used to be the. Uh, Exit 203 to El Elmer. We we're off that way. So when we were done, we would go up to the on route just past that. It's after yeah. we're winding down and stuff. Well, now that they're um, just past London, rather than uh, Veterans yeah. Memorial. You're, pa you're just before it. Yeah. And by the time we get done now, because, well, Dustin's helping out with on the the plot team this year. By the time we're done, because everybody else has done like an hour and a half before, because we have to pack everything down and clean everything up and load everything in people's vehicles and whatever. And it's like, I don't know. I think that the, the last night we had a lot, a lot more that would help out putting things away. <laughs> We've got less people currently to do that. So it takes a good hour. Oh, yeah. Hi, Lance. 
Are you going to turn into who's the other one that did that to me? No, it's Lance. It's Lance because I got mad because I didn't say goodbye. Goodbye, Lance. No. <laughs> I'm saying goodbye now just in case I forget later. <laughs> no, you should start with hello. You say goodbye and I say hello, hello, hello. That's a good <laughs> you make butter charts. They're already in the oven, Lance. You'll have to wait. Everyone. You have to wait another 10 minutes to see them. Lance will probably attempt to try to make them. That is a lie, Lance, because the last time I left, I said goodbye. I specifically said goodbye to you when we were talking backstage. I went, Lance, and he went, what? I went, goodbye. I left. <laughs> but he's old. He sometimes doesn't hear everything. Else. Oh, yeah, here, yeah. Sorry, Lance, I love you. Don't hurt me. You know, guys with their selective listening. Oh, honey. Was that my outside voice? I love you guys. <laughs> the best part of waking up. I should say, in my opinion, I live, lived with two males for many years. <laughs> That's the best line ever. In my rude. opinion. That's rude. I told you to shut up. Oh, Lance, don't forget. I'm Tuesday, I'm at your house. It's on my schedule. You told me to put you on the schedule. No. He's like, oh, no, oh, no, what? I'm debating if I should prep some stuff for dinner. You'll be soon. Boomer interview within three weeks. Procrastinating. What am I meeting you on the long weekend? Mm -hmm. I don't know. If not sooner. <laughs> if I say goodbye and you say hello. Thanks, Mike Lamb. <laughs> hello, hello. hello. hello, hello. <laughs> Just change the word. Hello, hello, beautiful people. I was in deep thought. I was doing something I remembered I needed to do real quick. <laughs> so this weekend we'll take out weekend because the view was just exhausted from a long week. Yesterday was fall. Today is Chinese. Tomorrow is going to be like Michael has said, mac and cheese. <laughs> Might be the leftover mac and cheese if they don't eat it all tonight. Yesterday was clean out the fridge because mom was on strike and I didn't feel like cooking. Today, I busted out four loads of laundry, did all the dishes. Um... Oh, you and smell then I'm cheese, cooking fajitas in a little bit. You smell cheese, Callie? And then if you're lucky at the end. This is my gradient up now. Woo! Woohoo! fun trip. I'm a little crooked. A little crooked. Here we go. I know Friday night was hard to wind down after uh, Down Under Cruiser's live. Oh, I know. Oopsie. Did you see that piece of cheese flying into my computer? Did, did it go viral yet, that video? <laughs> and did it get 500 subs? That's what all I want. Hold on, I'll tell you. <laughs> Drum roll, please. We'll save a, I'll try to save a turkey to see later, Amy. <laughs> this does this to me. Send her a picture before. Before you start eating them. Is there any more swimsuit shown this evening? No. No. My, sw my see through swimsuit went bye bye. So, are you ready for this? They're at 453 subscribers. 
Ooh. And we got so far 128 views. Great job, ladies. <laughs> Good job, Amy. I fuck you too. I loved it. I've never seen Amy's laugh so hard on that live. I was watching it replay the other night. And then when you got V in the background going, Amy's like, and then she's like, what? What are we doing? <laughs> I was tickled. <laughs> oh, you want to get that one stuck in our heads, Troy? In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the line. Ugh. So you stick in my The who mum mum away. <laughs> I don't know the rest of it. <laughs> I thought he was going to change the words to In the down under, the golden girls wear <laughs> invisible bikinis. Aww. Is that the girl on? Yeah, this is his. That's his, because she's wearing navy blue. Oh, wow. So that's his. And then hers, I could show you part of it. I don't have, it's not done yet. It's not done at all, actually. So they're going to have these little flowers. Oh, how pretty. These little flowers. <gasps> these little flowers oh. and some more white stuff in it. It'd be nice. This will be done this week. So I'll be able to show you guys. I this still have my like this weekend. I still have my, what is that called? Corsage. I still yeah. have it from, from my, my, my prom. I bought, I bought a great friend, great friend of mine and I, we went together cause we're like, we're not, we're not even going to bother, bother, bother asking people we know. We're just going to go as friends. And then he was like, what's your accessories? I was like, oh, I wear black lace. And he had black tux, so we were black on black with gold accessories. It was really classy. Nice. And everybody's like, where'd you get that one? I was like, well, when your friend knows you, you know? Oh, Trevor and his ex, actually both my boys never went to their prom. They ended up going to their ex's prom. The following year. But, oh well. Uh, Dustin, his ex had wore a black dress. So he had a black suit and tie with a red shirt. So her, her accents were red. <laughs> Ooh. And his boutonniere was red. And then Trevor's ex wore navy. And Trevor wore, had a navy suit. Navy. Is it a navy suit? Yeah, navy suit, you black tie, and you had a dark shirt, dark blue shirt, too. Looks sharp. Mm. Would have been looking nice. I think his boutonniere was navy and white, and I made hers. I think hers was navy and white. Maybe a little baby blue in there. Well, I'm about ready to share with you guys what I look like going to prom. Oh! I don't even know if I have that picture here. So my girlfriend is on the left, which will be your right when I turn this around. Mm -hmm. And I'm uh, the one with the white puffy sleeves. Wow. Nice little song. Yeah. Yep. It popped up in my memories today. I was like, oh, what? Seriously? <laughs> Wow. Yeah. What would you have told your prom self that you know now that you didn't know that? <laughs> you don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> How does that? You made a good choice. Just keep on having fun. Yeah. Here you go. So I'm in the middle with the red pants on. And then I'm on the in the white shaking the hands of my principal for eighth grade. Wow. 
Oh, that one. And then there's that one. The big old hair. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was the thing. The butter tart is screaming. And it took my weight a whole whopping 87 pounds. Wow. Isn't imagine what three kids and years later does to you. <laughs> That's what I always say. See, look at them. This is all your fault. <laughs> I tell my kids it's all theirs. Funny really? Thing. That would be amazing. Oops, gonna have to check. I like that idea, Fairy Does. She said the school district take a high school graduate to Disneyland. They close the park all night long just for the what? grad night. Wow. Ooh, look I at wanna them. Move. I wanna they all, they're kind of poofed up on top, but as they cool, they kind of sink in a bit. Michael Ann, put it full screen for the people to really see. Come on. Give them the money shot. Well done, people. So I got to get the oven mitts on. Wow. Oh, yeah. I smell them. You smell it? Oh, gosh. I didn't know my screen had smell o vision. It's delicious. <laughs> They're kind of hooked up, but they will sink in. We'll let them cool for a little bit. And I'll show you the final thing. I guess I know what I'm going to be getting this weekend. Or this week. <laughs> I guess I'll leave that on because I'm going to make mac and cheese in the next little bit. And that's an easy recipe. It yeah. is. And, you know, if you put, like Lance said, put a little bit of whipped cream on top of it if you choose to or something. You know, we got a little fancy dessert that goes a long, mm -hmm. long way. Yep. Oh, if you wanted them still warm, you could put a little ice cream with it, too. Oh, yes. So, Michael Ann, you're still full screen. I know. I'm trying to get over here to... Okay, just so you knew. Where are you, Dots? You're hiding. There we go. And she's got to adjust her camera because we can only see her from the mouth down. <laughs> you, don't, you don't need the, the money shot. What are you talking about? All right. You move that there. Got a plate full of cheese grated while I was doing that. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Oh my God. My husband just said to me this two hours ago. Says you should do it now. You only have five months before the cruise. You'll accomplish <laughs> more if you start now. Wait a minute, Captain Obvious. <laughs> <laughs> No such thing as an easy recipe for me. I have a whole. I made these. It's a little picture. I made these little duotangs full of recipes that were simple enough that my boys make. Mm -hmm. So this one is Trevor's, my youngest. I tried to do a, a, a legend there, but we've added more recipes, so it's or an index. And then on the inside, I put things like what you know, the measurement conversions, safe meat temperatures, oven temperature conversion from Fahrenheit to that. And then he's actually got a handwritten recipe from his friend Justin's mom. Wow. Chicken, sausage, gumbo, and um, the microwave brew to make that. And then chicken, sausage, jambalaya. Oh, that sounds good. She made both of them when he was at their place, and he loved both of them. And so she gave me the recipe, and I put them in Trevor's because his friend Justin Paul passed away a couple of years ago, so he's done handwritten. Um, that he can cherish or whatever. <laughs> yeah. But I, I put the recipes in here. I gave them to them for Christmas that year. And 
I put the recipe in, and I put how I do it, and I put in. Okay. So no plants, not having cheese with butter tarts. I'm making mac and cheese for dinner. <laughs> so technically, you are, but they're not together. No, no, I'm not eating the cheese on the butter tarts. No. Lance is asking how Steve is. You talked to him yesterday, Lance. Seriously? Not much has changed. Except the date. Well, like to put that away because I know the rest of it. So, yesterday, I took a drive to the manufacturer of my teardrop to fix a little leak that we couldn't get to properly. And these people are so nice, they didn't even charge us anything. And we're like, no, 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 like, time is money, blah, 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 blah. He's like, no, we just stand behind our products. And I'm like, wow. Nice. So they they were nice enough, like, they custom, when we picked up our teardrop, when we ordered it, for, like, originally, we had a nice barbecue. Nice. Like a Coleman kind of. It wasn't a Coleman, it was, well, what, I don't remember what the name of it. Anyways, it died last year, so we had to buy a new one. We looked all over trying to find the same one. It's discontinued because they had drilled four holes for the feet, so the barbecue went slide when we drove. So I asked the guy, I said, just a quick question, is it possible to like get like filler plugs, or do you have any of those? Or and then when we came back, he goes, oh, I don't think we have it, but he goes, let me ponder. We come back, he goes, I changed the whole plate. And I was like, well, that's going to cost money. He's like, no, no, it's okay. So I have to send him a thank you. Tell his boss how much appreciative I was because this guy went out of his way. Nice. We were, we were stuck in traffic and construction. Our one and a half hour trip took like more like two hours and 45 minutes. That's what I said. Is like construction season has started. Orange like, barrel assemble. <laughs> just the side of uh, London, there was uh, like miles of cones, and then here by all of the um, entrances to the highway, the on ramps, there's a bunch of them that have cones there. I'm like, really? You're just gonna mess up travel? I was like, I can't. I hate it. I agree. I'm here. I'm spilling water on the boil. Especially driving south, and that's all you see is orange barrels. Yeah. You're like, are we done yet? Are we done yet? Like, I get it. They want to do it while their weather's nice. But we, our people have waited all this time to get to go travel. And you don't want to be traveling extra hours because of a whole bunch of tree destruction. Well, that, oh, I just lost my plug. Oh, God, this is crazy. Like, what else? Uh, milk. Oil's there. Oil's there. Flour. Oil's there. Oh. Speaking of flour, when I went today to the, I had to go to the mall to get. <laughs> passport wallets and so we went to and please didn't like what there was went to the bay wow they were cheaper than bentley's and they had better selection wow. <laughs> so on our way out i saw that there was a stokes where I, and i bought two big Mason jars to put flour in, like, like almost five liters of flour. You remember Stokes? Well, it's kind of like a Stokes. I don't know how else to explain. Well, I decided on mac and cheese because I had there was enough cheese and milk left, and I was at Giant Tiger and they had a cream of bread or Yep. Mm -hmm. The size bag on for 77 cents. Neat. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm missing chat. Little Pissy says, new here again. Is this the auditions for the next Top Chef? <laughs> Aren't you a moderator, sir? Yeah. So he tried to tell me it was new and it was like, yeah, right, you're a moderator. Like Jake Jake. Billy? Happy wet day. Because it's raining today. Happy Billy Day. Oh, we got some air in here. It is raining. It's nasty. I know. I was like, May brings the showers all right. April showers bring May flowers in the month of June. <laughs> I can't wait till June. You can't go through the screen, Kelly. But what do you mean? You heard me open the door. Do you want to go outside? Because I sat down, now you want outside? Yep. I'm going to start putting bugs out. I guess I can leave the screen open. What side do you want to go outside? Nope. It was funny that you said that you're doing, you did like leftovers, whatever's in the fridge. I was like, that's us on Monday nights. Whatever we haven't used on the weekend, try to make a soup or puree or some stir fry. Well, when I'm done. Friday. <clears throat> Thursday, I'd gone out with my friend Brian because he needed uh, a driver after he had his treatment on his eyes. And we did, did a bunch of stuff and I picked up my son's meds because they said they were ready. Well, I get home and it's only his stomach meds, not his anxiety meds. Oh, God. So I'll call them. Well, we, we, we filled the, those other ones when the doctor called because it, it was. We could do it then, but the other ones wasn't ready yet. There wasn't time to fill it yet. So, well, I need them tomorrow for the weekend. <laughs> so, yeah. My friend Brian is, are you coming in town tomorrow? He goes, yeah, I am. I've got to do such and such. I was like, okay. And then he messaged me back. Um, I have to drive down to Bothell. You want to come for the ride? Sure. So he picked me up at nine. We went to Bothell. We stopped. Mm -hmm. Uh, Parks Blueberries and had lunch at like 10 30 in the morning <laughs> and then we come back towards town with his GPS took us all back roads so driving down the road it's like what's that going across the road oh it's a coyote <laughs> first time I ever seen a coyote live <laughs> and you were fast enough to take the picture were you no nope. it's like Go figure something like that and don't have my camera out. You don't have your camera out because his is always tucked under a seat because, you know, he loves watching birds and stuff. It's crazy. <clears throat> and then we got back to town and went to. No, we went to his place because he had to let the dog out. And I took a wander around his yard. He's, I, I've done his uh, a tour of his backyard. Um, three was it? Videos yeah, I've, I've seen that video. Yep. All the flowers and the. Mm. I can find it. Just give me a second. It looks totally different in the spring before things start even growing. Yeah. That's it. That's exactly it. I said to my husband, we should drive up to the trailer site today because it's open. So I can. Because I want to plant a rhubarb. I love rhubarb. So, so I want to play a rhubarb so I could have some at the trailer. And he's like, uh, and I want to plant some sunflowers because I would like to have some sunflowers. So it would be nice. But brighten up the place a bit, you know? Oh, that's crazy. I don't have my other thing open. <laughs> Give me a second. What thing are we talking about? <laughs> I'm not telling you the model number of my land. Oh, Model number, it's 1475. But it's it's the pre version with the big picture window. Now they only have the window that cuts at your neck. <clears throat> Why, Lance? Why is this so pressing? You should know this by by now. I've already told you. Call yeah, whatever your name is, dog. You wanna go side, you can go that way. Nope, 
It's called Solitude. So this week I'm gonna make I'm gonna make stuffed pepper soup. Yum. Yum. Good. I hope you videotape it. <sighs> You want me to videotape it? I'm so awkward when I try to cook. Yeah. Remember when I did that once? It was <laughs> awkward. It was a plane crash. I'm cooking <laughs> right now, talking to you guys. Yeah, I, 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 that's what I tried to do, but it was ended up like, what, three hours or whatever. Because doing more talking than chopping, the thing is. <laughs> <laughs> I think it goes easier, though, if you have people up on panel. Yeah, that's the thing. Because you can concentrate while other people help you out with the chat and everything else. Let's get down again. So they, look at them soak, they've sunken down in there. Ooh, they look perfect. They look it's amazing. Oh. <laughs> Did I tell I you that? You post a picture of that and put it on Destination's Delight Facebook page. And you have and to put it on the I Instagram. Recipe. So there you go. And on Insta on your Instagram account. You gotta go check that out. I'm gonna have to I'll have to do this after the show. I'll take a picture of your pure butter torch just for that. I like that Bernay says, yes, Mike, I'm a taster. You know what? I'm a taster. Look what happens. You get beautiful cheeks. <laughs> but did I tell you? I got to ship a new fridge, freezer, and oven. I work. Are you wanting us to pinch your cheeks? Come here. There you go. Just these ones. I, exactly. I don't do the other ones. You got to pay me for that one. And no, Lance is not my accountant on that one. Because <laughs> it takes too much percentage off. Yeah, he wants the 5799 or whatever it is to donate to his PayPal. Wait, it sounds like Lance's kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Those look delicious. I'm going to put my uh, mac and cheese in. Have, speaking of a mac and cheese, have you tried the the viral TikTok thing about the feta, the tomatoes, and the noodles? No. Uh, I'm not a fan of feta. I've seen the I've seen the. You can put cream cheese. They're interchangeable. That would be good. What the heck? It's still all over here. Jeez, I'm already cleaning soap. Steve Michael and made butter tarts. And he's like, oh, and they're really good looking. Oops. Wow. Oh my God, I'm salivating. Salivating? Salivating? How do you say that in English? Salivating. Just salive. Papi, that salive. So You're you figure out the tongue slap your brain. Oh, these wood. I definitely would give that a day. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny's going to say definitely a day. So, Michael Ann, um, we have to ask our friends in Florida where V can get the, the pie. Do you, do you guys like the little pie shells like that over there? And then we get to make some for the, the meetup. Um, in my hotel because I have a kitchen. Yeah, but do you have a stove? I believe or is so. It just a stove top. Oh, I have to look. Because most kitchenettes down there will have like just two burners on top. That's it. Up here, you get a real stove. Oh no, not down here. You don't. That's why I'm. Saying. I'll check it out. Yeah. Worst comes to worst, I'll have to buy an Instapot. Um. What are those things? Not an Instapot, a um, air fryer. We'll, we'll bake it in an air fryer. The things well, you can do it in there. 
Maybe when the Florida friends will have an air fryer they can bring. <laughs> yeah. Maybe our friends in Florida. Hey, who's coming? Is is um Donovan from RV on the Wayside? He has an RV. Is he coming in his RV? What about Spiker's Crazy Adventures? Don't they live right there? Yeah. Cindy, can I go make some some other types of traps? Because I think she's mm -hmm. coming in on the 14th. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Robin Jan. Are you still vanning? Oh, what'd you say? Who, me? Yeah. I said, hi, Robin Jan. Are you still vanning? Oh, 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 I thought you asked me if I was still veining. I was like, no, I'm all done. <laughs> veining? What does veining yeah. mean? Taking out the insides of your peppers and your onions. Oh, de-veining. Oh, yeah. But it's a must wash my hands because, you know, when you deal with onions, you start to cry. Yep. Let me read you the comments since you guys are... Kelly and Tammy's journey. Crawfish too here in Louisiana. Oh my God. Yeah, how long does it take to get there? I'm coming over. Uh, that's definitely Jan typing. I know the difference of style between Jan and Rob. Don't tell me if I'm right or wrong. Oh, you're in the van right now. You're in Canada. So are you in the rain? I'm not going to ask your location. I'm just going to ask, are you in the rain? Um, I'm trying to figure out who's coming who would have access to a stove. Now you're telling me that I'm like, I'm on my P. I'm not on my PC. If I was on the PC, I'd be opening another tab to check out. If we do have what? What's the name of the hotel? I'm not saying that here. <laughs> oh, put it in WhatsApp to me. Um, okay. Stop doing that camera. Not allowed to. Okay, let me see if I can pull up a WhatsApp. Yeah, somebody left me a message. Two seconds. It's like all the gun I have to think. Pot never boils. Stop looking at it. <laughs> Here you go, Crystal. Okay. Here we go. Give me a minute and I'll look it up. It's something like that. I'm trying to think of the real title. If I leave to go check it all, I'll have to leave the, the street. No, no, no. You're good. So. What is Laya? Currently driving through Aurelia. Oh, I love Aurelia. Going to Barry. Are you gonna go to the Barry Casino? They have the best meatloaf ever. Ever. Okay. Go to the casino for meatloaf. <laughs> oh God, every so Rob and Jan are saying hello. To literally everybody. Mm. Oops. Do you put anything else? Just cheese and macaroni and milk? Or would you put like, like onions, garlic? Oh, don't hurt me. You. You're making the cheese. I make it the cheese sauce, which is oil and flour to make a roux, and then yeah. 
when it starts to bubble and add a cup of, a cup of milk. That's why it starts thickening and then I will throw the um, cheese, salt, pepper, and a little bit of cayenne into the my question is, do you put like any, yeah, I think that's what it is. I think that's what it is. Gotcha. And I think that's something like, it's beside that other place that I told you. Okay. Uh-huh. Mm. You're good. Okay. You know, just in case there's too many people knocking on the door. You're good. You know, we gotta let Steve get some rest. They're coming to get you. The butter tart. Yeah, what the heck's going on? The butter tart smelled too good. That's illegal to smell that good. It says probably an Getting cheaper gas. Oh, I can imagine. Gas here was one eighty nine nine today. One eighty nine. Like ten more cents. It's two bucks. Like it's just insane. Well, it was one eighty two. When Brian and I were out, and then <laughs> last night when Dustin and I came home, it was one seventy-four. Going up and up and up and up. I'm like, we saw a Tesla today with the license plate oil. Laugh out loud. <laughs> And we're like, pretty much. I was like, he just parks in the mall, free parking, free fuel. You know? I think that one's going to have a little bit more heat to it. <laughs> Do you put like peas and carrots or nope. tuna or I don't know, people put stuff in it. So. No, I just do mac and, mac and cheese. I like to fry the onions before making the roux. Like a little onion in there. My mom used to, when she would make this, and I had the recipe first, but she had the recipe off me, she would add onions and all that stuff to it. I, I just had, added onions. I think it's good. I had picky eater at the time, so my oldest, so. And for presentation, you slice roasted red peppers on top. It's beautiful. You like to fry the onions or saute the onions? Whichever one. They're both delicious. Okay. Just curious. Whichever you prefer. If you fry them, you put them on top. If you saute them, they're all mixed in. Gotcha. Gotcha. I have difficulty eating real, like, like fresh peppers. But if they've been pickled, there's something that breaks down in them that I can digest them better. Gotcha. So that's why we always have roasted red peppers. Understand. Mm, that sounds really Please. good too. So you cut all the peppers so far, all the onions. Yep. What's next, Crystal? A stick of butter and a teaspoon and a half of oil. And then turn it on and let my stuff saute a little bit. And then I'll add the chicken into it in a minute. Right now it's called clean the dishes up after yourself because I don't want a crap full of dishes. <laughs> That's exactly it. I hear you. Because I get stuck doing them all the time. I hear you. Don't, like tell me, don't tell that to Michael Ann and I. We're not even going to go there. <laughs> That's why I kind of said these, it. these dishwashers are portable. Just saying. I need a portable dishwasher. You do. You have two. One on the left, one on the right. Yeah. I'm going to have a cramp on my hand holding my phone that way. Okay, let me rotate. I'll rotate my phone. I hate cleaning calendars. What? That's the easiest thing to clean. I hate it. Especially if you like drain like grease out of it or something. Oh, see, I don't do that. My kitchen aid one. Are you sucking up yet? I'm 
On the menu this week is rice wraps. Cooking with the crazy crew. Yep. You know what tomorrow is because Trevor took out ground beef. Would be a surprise. Oh, ground beef. You should try the stuffed stuffed pepper soup. Mm -hmm. Wondering well, if I still, I can't wait to make a good cabbage. And we can make stuffed cabbage rolls or unstuffed oh. cabbage rolls. Yum. I call it lazy man's cabbage rolls, yeah. Stop it. You can chop and drop it in. My land on a disco deck. Hello. Oh, I oh, oh. Well, we're gonna hit the settings and we're gonna go to the other camera. There you go. And we're gonna get ready. He's got a set up in a hat. I'm just relaxing. Oh. Hello, hello. Yeah. I left my um. my handheld. What is my handheld gimbal in the car? And I was like, oh, crap, I'm going to have to hold my phone. <sighs> it was a long day. Good chicken strips. Holy cow. How big are they? No, it's not holy cow. It's holy chicken. Well, that's huge. Yeah. You buy them already cooked? That's easy. Yep. Right from Sam's Club. So all you gotta do is warm them up with your meal. Michael Ann, we can't hear you. Your volume is mute somehow. Blah, 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 blah. There we go. Soul to the pretty lady. I didn't want live to do a pop-up live, uh, Lee Mai. Hey, Lee in the house. Slide over here, butter tarts. Oh. <laughs> you made some yummy butter tarts. Recipes in the description. And no chatting and making um, mac and cheese. Michael and Ann. Making chicken fajitas. Michael Ann, Robert will come over because he loves to do dishes. Robert, I can maybe work out Where a deal that you get free food. Where were you about four hours ago? <laughs> <sighs> you had a surprise when you came back, didn't you? Mm. The CSI kitchen never stops. Yep. Well, CSI kitchen's been on hold. And doing these butter tarts has been on hold for a few days. So. Yeah, that's the thing. I got tired of waiting. Yeah. We'll discuss the rest of that after. <laughs> It's called duct taping. Duct tape does a lot of wonder, I'm just saying. Yes, butter tarts, Lima. You missed it. She took them out of the oven. <laughs> Look, the butter just exploded. The bubbles just went pop. Oh, that's the best. Mm -hmm. The bubbles go pop. <laughs> well, the ones that I got really poofy on look kind of funny because they're really sunken in. Yeah. But they taste good, and that's the important part. That's that's a sign of a successful butter tart. I'm just gonna check my pasta. See what I'm oh. My favorite pasta was the Scooby Doo pasta. Those are good. When I can have regular pasta, because they they twirl and there's the salt in the holes. All right, Vivi. Have you ever thought about maybe making your own stuff? Yeah, I do. Do you like I your own pasta stuff? I don't make enough pasta and then make my own because I'm not. I used to be in my 20s when yeah. I used to run, I used to eat pasta almost every other day. Gotcha, but I don't run no more, so I'm like, why do I need all the carbs and the energy? Right, so sorry about the drool, Lima says. Well, I'm glad you might have a. You might have a puddle near the stove. 
Well, you might as well apologizing because it's his drool. I need a spatula. Spatula to the rescue. Can I stir my cheese sauce in there? My husband says we have too many of those, like spatula, spoons, and blah, blah, blah. But you know what? Once I get cooking, he's like, why oh, you used all of them? I'm like, you can never have enough. enough. Exactly. I have okay. two big ones from Pampered Chef. But Trevor got a couple of um, silicone ones from um, Superstore. Because you leave them in the pots without them melting. Yes, come. Did you hear my husband in the other in the other room? Crystal? Yes, we have too many. Yes, you can have too many. <laughs> and, uh, I have multiple spatulas and multiple spoons. I'll be right back, guys. Hold on. Spoons. Oh, look at that fairy dust. And Robert will be exchanging services. You do the dishes, I'll do your laundry. Oh, God. I'm with Robert. I'd rather wash dishes than wash clothes. But now, since having a broken dishwasher, a uh, broken washing machine, and a broken dryer, now I'm like, oh, crap. Now I have to really go to the laundromat or get new stuff. I don't like the new stuff because of the off-gassing. Because it makes me ill. <laughs> That's true. I'll be with you in just a couple minutes. I'm just putting the cheese on top. I'll show you. I just... I just noticed that on top of your plastic wrap, it says, today's menu. Oh. Today's menu, take it or leave it. Take it or leave it. I can see that part. I was trying to read that. See, so you see Michael Ann's big jars? This is why I went to go get big mason jars. I try to do glass and not plastic or tin. Drop the link so these guys can visit. Do you want Billy up? Billy wants to come and visit. Okay. Billy, Billy Bob, ask for the link, please. Uh, copy. Go over to this one. Paste. Rob, Steve off gases like okay. every man I you know. Pin message. That's why I got him second hand. <laughs> Well, we started this at the other house, and we have this one, one, two, three, four, four shelf, like a, a baking rack. And my son was take. My son was doing culinary in school before he dropped out, and he likes everything like right here, handy. So yes, hands, the stuff we commonly cook with, and then the measuring spoons and the me or measuring spoons are on the end here. Measuring cups, bowls. The grater is usually up there, the mortar and pestle is up there, and so the big mixing bowls and colanders are on the bottom. They bought two of those, but they're the big, big industrial. Even higher, it's higher than a pantry one, like I'm turning it into a pantry. There's some things that are in the pantry that we just don't have enough space out here for. Because we have no pantry, so I had to create one. So it's on wheels so I could turn it around. We'll just do that. Ooh. And cheese ready to go in the oven. Yummy. There is a live or a video on me making mac and cheese before. Yep. <laughs> mac and cheese is one of the first thing you learn how to cook that and eggs. Or is it just me? Um, I made this pretty early on because, oops, whoopsie. I learned to cook mac and cheese out of the box. I don't know how to make it homemade. You don't know how to make it homemade? I oh. never made it homemade. Oh, now's the time to try. Nothing beats it. And for all my friends who can't have cheese, you can also use nutritional yeast. It still tastes delicious. With like almond milk, it still tastes delicious. <laughs> this girl, this girl does it that way, not with real milk and real cheese. So, <laughs> so now I added the chicken, 
and one pack of taco seasoning and you let it simmer for about 20 minutes and then you're good to go. Just saying, if you substitute the chicken with beef, then you can have, what's that sandwich called? Hello. Hey. Hey, didn't I see you somewhere? <laughs> Be careful. Be careful, don't come Sitting towards up. me. There's a wet spot oh. on the floor from Lee Maestrool. From the what? From Lee Mai's drool. Oh. There you go. What are you cooking? What's up, buddy? I want to know what's cooking. I made... French fries? I made butter tarts. Mom used to make them. It's, it's, well, it's a Canadian thing. I didn't realize it was a, just a Canadian thing. Yeah. A lot of our American friends didn't know what butter tarts were, so mm -hmm. really? I made so the recipes in the uh, description. And I didn't, I didn't use lactose-free cheese, she devil. But I actually used almond milk this time. Mm. I prefer to use the lactose-free milk. I just made mac and cheese while I was waiting, and I got the the recipes originally from this cookbook. The mac and cheese that make. Any yeah, farmer cookbook? Oh, go ahead, V. Yep. Sorry. Sorry. Go ahead. No, uh, my niece came visit there and she brought out my mom's uh, old recipes. Their little, their little box here. And it's like, like 50 years old. Well, I have my mom's up there. Mine's up here. Since I got you on the line here. Michael Ann, do you ever see these? Yes. The old Union Gas ones. Now got ones. my mom's old got my mom's old recipe book. Or yeah. recipe box. Yeah, I forgot about it. And yes, now the recipes of the go. month. Yeah, then Ma used to get these ones. Uh -oh. Yes. Ah, oh. where did you from, uh, go? I don't know. General Baker. General Baker. She's got a lot in here, and then she has a um, another book. And I thought it, it's older than. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I gotta be. Uh... And there is. I just, you know where V went, Crystal? Uh uh. That's I just came in here to show her something she's gonna freak out about. And then my mom had this. She's in the basement. Oh, she's in the basement? Oh, what am I gonna freak out about? Oh, yeah, I don't, what Dominion. Do I mean? Is that Dominion? Wow, that's yeah. cool. Wow, that's retro. Retro, yeah. Yeah, my niece brought out my mom's uh, cook, cook, uh, recipe box there. And a bunch oh of Oh my God, take a there. picture and email me that. Oh, yeah. What did you get, Lance? I got something for you, V. What is it? Huh? What is it? I got a boomer. Hi, boomer. Oh, I think he heard Hi, me. Buddy. My... Do it again. Do it again. Hey, boomer. Hey, Dad, buddy. the house is rocking. Come on. Uh oh. He says, Yeah, not today. <laughs> Did you pinch your teeth for me? I got something for V. So. I have hundreds of RV magazines because I like RVs. No way. So, you <laughs> you would never know. At 1914. That's fine. Yep. That's fine. And I'm going to sell it to you for $19.99 plus tax. <laughs> Make I'm it kidding. 20 bucks. Give me 20. 20 do I hear? 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. 20. <laughs> 
<laughs> Hold on. Let's That's do exactly it right. My model. Let's do it right. Okay. We need to say, was... well, all rats are open the door and let them come on in. Here and now, who's going to give me four? I need a four dollar bill now. Who's going to give me five dollar? Five dollar bill now. Who's going to give me six and a quarter? Seriously. Now who's going to give me seven, seven and a quarter? Now who's going to give me three and a quarter? Two and three, two and three, three, sold. You would so auction. You guys know I can do the auction here. <laughs> Did you actually do it? Well, for the dinner. You should hear my dad. My dad's really okay. good at it. <laughs> so, I have to go on auction. So this is yours, B. When we see you, I see you. Okay. Well, I'm seeing you tomorrow, so. Where's Monday? Hey, anyway, I gotta go. I gotta go eat my dinner. I just wanted to come up and say hi to everybody, and uh, she'll be the magazine. Why? Why are you eating it all? Pardon? Oh, it's hot, and spicy. What you <gasps> what Roast you beef. Roast beef. Beef is not spicy. What'd you put on it? I don't. I didn't make it. My wife did. Oh, yes, dear. <laughs> you think so? Hang on, no, I, want, hang on I want to be like Solex. I'm going to join a rock band. Okay, I'm going to go eat my dinner here. That was good, Crystal, by the way. Bye-bye. 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 <laughs> you already be I right. still see you. <laughs> what did I miss? What did Crystal... Oh, her auction area. Impressive, yep. Mm. Here's one I haven't seen for a while. Leave me an ass one on. Levi. Isn't he your best friend? No. I thought he was you guys were best friends. I don't have He's been in my chat a friends. couple times now. I, I thought he was your friend. brother for the longest time. Oh, really? But I was like, no, uh, he, because you don't. He'd come up with a better name than that. Well, guys, <laughs> I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to drop down and go into chat. We're going to eat. And I don't want to eat. Well, let me see. But us ladies will chat later. We'll chat later. For I'll sure. chat later. Well, All I'm right. sure see you guys later. Party. Bye, Mike. You, <laughs> you, you had to put some, one. you had to tame down the flames. It's too hot. No. Guess what I'm making? Guess what I'm making? Are you fellas? making it? What are you Canadian making? Fellas? Guess what I'm making? Poutine? No. Canadian back you? bacon. <gasps> See? Mine yeah. is in there. I was supposed to make that for supper tonight, too. And I was like, eh. No, I, it, it's in the fridge brining right now. I got oh. it brines for a week. Eh? Oh. Yeah. I love that you you guys in the West always say A. Nobody in the East says A. I don't say it that much. Lance says it all the time. I think you're hanging around Lance. Sorry, Michael, go ahead. You said poutine, and Callie turned it up. I was like, you never have poutine. Oh, no. It's a Canadian dog. And then I made a bowl of... I got a bowl of breakfast sausage. I'm making the patties. Because mm -hmm. I can't buy it in the store, I gotta make my own now. Oh, you really can't buy it in the store no more. I can't. I don't buy. I can't. I I couldn't have bacon for since last year, or since I got sick. But oh. Then the, so I goes on YouTube there, and they're, they're making homemade bacon. So I asked my dietitian. I said, "Can I, you know, do yeah. homemade bacon?" She says, "Oh, yeah." Because you know, like, there's no preservatives or stuff like that in it. So that's what that's what gives me the high potassium and stuff, right? Exactly. So, so I I make my own stuff. Yeah, you should have Sunday cook show with Michael Ann. You should cook the show as how. I just I was just I just spent like two hours on the counter there. That's about all I can do with my legs now, you know. So, so yeah. Did you make Did you make your own bread? Not yet. My sister's got a recipe to do it in the crock pot. Ooh, crock pot. Yeah. Sweet. Crock pot bread. Yeah. I have a recipe. She, you just put it in together. You stir. You let rise and cook. That's it. But then she's saying if you use the bread flour, you get the bigger mm -hmm. you get bigger air bubbles in it. Yeah. 
Yeah. So. I'll try that one of these days. I gotta watch what I do. I can't do too. I can't do a whole lot or I get tired. So, yeah. yeah, I get that. But uh, totally get that. Yeah, so I'm kind of a little stoked now that uh, Canadian back bacon. I get but, uh, I bought like I don't been in the store, lady. I bought a big pork loin. Yeah. Three point eight kilos. That's one baby. Bucks. Seventeen bucks. That's cheap. I know. That's cheap. I I, I got I got two thirds of it. Grinding for. Well, I paid ten bacon. bucks for. I paid ten bucks for six pounds. Yours is way better. Well, it's maple leaf stuff, so I don't know. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. And I'm really a fan of this uh, pork loin because it, I I I buy the pork loin and then I slice it up for steaks too, right? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Bread is and a, I got another I got a smaller one in there and it was like ten bucks or something. That makes more beer bread. Somebody gave away my beer. But with all well that's seventeen bucks. I got enough I got enough breakfast meat for a month. I was gonna say you're good that's for a, oh, that's, a, that's a that's a two pound of bit that's a kilogram of bacon if you buy in the store, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, fifteen bucks. You can't get that for that price exactly. No. no. So and you're gonna have to send me a recipe. I'll make one. I'll be like, "Is this right?" Really? It's all everything's on YouTube. V. Like, well, send me the link. Bacon, homemade bacon, back bacon. I got all kinds of recipes on there now. So yeah. send me the link. Here, here's my email. I got. I think I got your email. Well, just in case you don't, here it is again. But yeah. Almost ready. But yeah. Yeah, that's where I get all my recipes now is on uh, YouTube. Like even smoking stuff. Well, because of the, the craziness in the world, I started fermenting. I made, at one point, I had my own sourdough machine going. I was oh, yeah. like, oh. I was Let's like, I couldn't it. keep um, up with the soda, so I had to let it die. Five, six years ago, the Black & Decker two-pound bread maker was a big thing. Everyone I got it. it for 60 bucks. Brand new in the box. Two-pounder? Yeah. Not even open. Still had the plastic on the thing. That little plastic circle they put on the... Yeah. I was like, the guy goes, ah, I haven't used it for two years. Might as well sell it. Like 60 bucks? There that thing go. was like 160. I was like, Oh, yeah. Oh, they're big, but like five, ten years ago, right? Yeah. Everyone I used to have a bread machine a long time ago. Oh. But I'm like, I'm like, this year, I was like, it's, it's crock, 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 block, crock pot. Crock bread. pot. CP, crock pot. Yeah. That one's it's like the just like the Instapot, I made banana yeah, bread in them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I got them. I got them. But, yeah. I need to learn to do that more stuff in my Instapot. I have oh, yeah. to make beans in the Instapot. I bought beans to make beans. The kind of beans? The baked beans that my grandma used to make. Oh, I don't eat baked beans. I'm not allowed baked beans. Maple flavored beans. Steve's like, that's oh, too sweet. So you know, I have to I, I asked change. a dietitian that one day about chili. So he's, that's why I use brown beans for chili, right? Mm -hmm. So I want to make some chili, but I use brown beans. Can I have them? Well, you got to rinse them off. Oh, what's the sense of buying them in the can? <laughs> yeah. You know, if I can't have the sauce, right? Well, the sauce, if you make the sauce yourself, you'll know what's in it, right? I, I, I want to see if I can get a, a bean, just to, like a brown bean, and make it, then make it myself, right? Why brown beans? Don't you put any kind of beans in your chili? No. I don't know, the only beans I eat all the time are green beans. No, but you just put the kidney beans, like. The I reddish brown ones. I don't do kidney beans. That's why I don't like mm -hmm. the other beans. 
I like I, Romano I looked, beans. Yeah, but I looked I, I looked on the chart there one day about beans yeah. and all that, what I could use and that. And mm -hmm. not not too many I can use. No. Can you use lentils? Uh I think they were on the list. They were that big. Because you can make there. a good lentil bread. A good, a good uh, I think they were a good bean for me. But see, I guess, the, the thing is, like, they're, they're good for other people, but they're not good for me because of the potassium or the phosphorus, yeah. right? So, yeah. yeah. That's like why if you let them. Like this whole sickness now, V, I got, I'm a, I got a whole new menu now. Like, holy shit. No. Yeah, I know. But, no, I, well, it gives me something to do. I got to do much, so I do a lot of cooking now. So. Are you allowed chia seeds? Do you make chia seed pudding? What's that? It's a pudding, but with chia seeds. Chia? No. Get it, seeds. I, I drink flavored tea, David's tea. Oh, I love David's tea. I'm a member yeah. of David's tea. My niece tea. brought me a bunch out. I just love that. I said, hurry up back. It is running low. <laughs> yeah, there's so much. But you know what? You can make tea with your favorite stuff. Like, I love ginger and green tea. So yeah. I put ginger, green tea, and I put some fennel. Some fennel seeds in there. You crack them a bit. Oh, God, it's so good. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Because green tea gets boring after a while. But that, oh. that Davis tea, they got so many flavors. Like, you, you never run out. I but be careful juice. because they put sugar in Davis green tea. I don't mind. I can have sugar. Yeah, but. Because well, I put honey in it anyway. So. What's but, uh, that? I like the peach flavored one for summer. I just had a birthday cake one. Birthday cupcake oh, one. Yes. <laughs> Michael, Ann, have you ever tried David's tea? That's Canadian. Oh, we had David's tea in our mall and it's gone now. We got something else in there, but I wish. Yeah, that's the, the, the kids, she orders online all the time now. Yeah, they closed yeah. and they all went online. We and they still in, in Sobeys. We went to one. I think we got one store in the West Ed Mall. Right. We had David's Tea and Tivana at the West Edmonton Mall. Tivana. Oh, yeah. I, we had got a berry one out there, and I forget what the other one was we got that we really liked. I've been to the mall in years. I went to the mall today. First time in three years. Oh, is that right? <laughs> I avoid oh, the mall. Wait. I said, I'll, kiddo, yeah, come on again. We'll, then I'll take you to, we'll to go to West Ed Mall and go to David's Tea. Yeah, so. Been to West Edmonton Mall twice in my life. Oh, there. I used to live uh, two two minutes from it. It's on my bucket list. It's on I my used bucket list. quite a bit. It's, all, it, it's not as good as it used to be, V. Like, no. Yeah, I know. The, the sea lions are gone, and uh, the, they don't run the submarines no more. Yeah, it's submarines in the sea. Yeah, it's not the same. Um, but they still got the, you know, the amusement park and swimming pool and the zip lines. And the all 90s. That. We broke every rule there was. Yeah. Oh, back in, like, when we came, when I first came out in mid-90s there, That's it, it was saying. packed in there all the time. Yeah. But they have slowly took it because of the animal thing going on. Oh, yeah. Brutally, the animals. Was, but they were a lot, a lot of fun to watch. But, yeah. I watched a video online about yeah. about sea lions. It was hilarious. Yeah. The sea lion came and he took he, he was swimming in the ocean. He took the steps from the ocean, jumped in the regular pool. There was a guy on sitting on a lounger, and the sea lion comes towards the guy in the lounger. And he starts jumping on the chair. So the guy gets up and he pulls the towel. And the sea lion just lounges on the chair. Like, you were in my chair, buddy. It was so funny. And the guy tried to chew the sea lion. And his, the sea lion's ooh, like, ooh, yum. Need some, need some cheese on there. <laughs> there is some cheese on there. <laughs> Do you know how much cheese you put on? You got a baked, on, baked cheese on top of it. Oh. There's well, a, that's pretty cool. You go walk, back in the day. You go watch the sea lions turn around, and you go into the little store of San Francisco and buy some 
stupid, stupid games and shit. <laughs> I had about three quarters of one of those bars of cheese went into that tonight. <laughs> I usually bake it with the cheese on top, like a lasagna. Oh, bacon. Well, there's, cheese, there's cheese on top with uh, breadcrumbs on top. Breadcrumbs? Yep. A little bit of breadcrumbs on top. Oh. My, my secret ingredients is a bit of chips. Yeah, don't swear. <laughs> yeah, that's my specialty. <laughs> don't swear. I'm the swearing queen. Yeah, that, that's that's me and Steve's thing to swear. My that, that's me and Steve's thing on Michael Edge. <laughs> Every time Steve. Yeah, dro dropped the S bomb about three times and the F bomb at least once. <laughs> I did the F bomb. I, I will say it was me. Did you? I was like, right on, V. I was like, what the? Welcome to I was the like, game. oh, we're live. <laughs> hey, I'm a good girl all day at work. You pulled the end right off the banana? <laughs> put put the peel the thing in the banana and put, put about that much off the end of it. I'm craving an Italian pizzeria there, uh, Michael. What's that Italian pizzeria? No, I, I tell you. I tell you. I tell you, down on Mitten Street. Yeah. What do you down want from the pizza? Pizza, you pizza. want pizza? You want margarita pizza? I ordered, I ordered from there for like twenty years. You ever had Italia We're across the road from? Um, they're in the the old Crystal bank in Montreal there now. No, I know Aaron and uh, Christina used to get from there. I actually get there like twenty years. Anyways, folks, my dinner's ready. Okay. You, you, you two can stay. I'm going to say goodbye to all the other folks out there. And I'll be on Thursday night, 6 p.m. Yep. Bye for now, folks. Okay, my God. Thanks for bringing me up. Thank you, beautiful.